Greetings, Chief Cook here with another edition of On the Job. Let me get everyone back up to speed on what's been going on over the past few weeks. Lots of great things happening, not only across the community, but our department as well. First, we had a fantastic time at the summer celebration a few weeks ago during the July 4th weekend. You know, the cloud cover kept temps much cooler as compared to last year. It was a great time had by all, and we loved interacting with all the families and kids that came out to celebrate our nation's independence. Here's a few highlights uh, from that evening, including the fireworks show. On the crime front, you know, there's been some amazing police work over the past few weeks. First, the suspect who shot one of our homeowners during a vehicle burglary was apprehended and remains behind bars. You might recall that incident from April 30th on Sussex Street. Also, the case from December 22nd where an unknown man had walked into the female restroom at our local Academy Sporting Goods store has also been arrested and charged with injury to a disabled individual. Now I know that frustrations ran high when this case first broke uh, and it did take a little longer than we would have wanted, but just know that this did not deter the commitment of our investigative team. We had to do a lot of forensic uh, testing and examination. We had to staff the case with the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office and also work with the Alliance for Children, uh, which required obtaining medical records uh, of this incident as well. Our goal is always to present a viable case for prosecution. Uh, we found the suspect in North Fort Worth, arrested him without incident, and we're very happy that we could seek justice uh, for this teen victim. Two of our officers were released from field training recently, officers Nathan Perez and Haley Buck. They completed their extensive training, which not only included the academy portion, but field training, and now they roam the streets as solo officers serving our community. You know, I'm really proud of their dedication and look forward to the wonderful things that they're both going to be doing to make our community safer. We also hosted our quarterly pastors coalition as faith-based leaders from around town discussed upcoming summer events and how we can all partner together. We also established our formal training advisory board as we seek to create our own police training center which will be hosted at the Pecan Grove Convention Center. So a lot of great things happening. And then our Citizens uh, Police Academy alumni, many of them are part of our Citizens on Patrol program. They have been out and about at many uh, community events and also patrolling our city. I want to give them a shout out. We really appreciate their volunteerism and their partnership in making, again, our community better. Many of you probably saw the story a few days ago about the elderly woman who needed a welfare check. When we got on scene, we determined uh, she also could use a fan. What a great story, which demonstrates, you know, the compassion of our officers who went above and beyond. She also requested uh, nuggets from Burger King, and that was an easy request to fulfill. You know, these types of things rarely make the news, but just know this, your team genuinely cares about this community, and we appreciate her family sending in that accommodation. A few other high notes along the way. Thank you for our local Masonic Lodge 1372 for coming out to our recent city council meeting and recognizing the collective achievements of our department on improving public safety over the last year. Also this past weekend, we stopped by uh, to support the Brewer High School cheerleader team. They were doing a fundraiser at Katie's Car Wash, and so we were able to make a, a quick donation and again, support their efforts. So great job all around. We also released our June report card. You know, as a matter of transparency, we re uh, release these report cards each month. Violent crime down 27% as compared to May. Property crime down a whopping 32% when comparing month to month. You know, this is a huge testament to really the hard work um, and also the community partnering with us, reporting suspicious activity and really sending the message that crime does not pay in our community. So we're gonna continue with those efforts, including our hotel motel task force operation. Um, and again, continue sending in 
uh, request. You know, we've also uh, created our traffic enforcement operation where we're patrolling in some of the residential areas where common complaints come in on speeding or running stop signs. We just received one this weekend as well along Gibbs and Lakeview Ridge. And so keep those coming in. Uh, they don't fall on deaf ears. We certainly pass that along to our patrol team so that they can work high visibility traffic enforcement in these areas. I want to end today by highlighting our annual awards banquet that we recently held. It recognized the collective and individual achievements of 2022 by our employees and officers. You know, each year we host a banquet to say thank you to our staff. This year's theme was Hawaiian style. I let them choose um, how they want to dress up. And so everyone showcased their best Hawaiian uh, shirts. You know, we recognized employees and community members at this event for their support. We could not do this job without the support of our team members. Well, that's all for this edition of On The Job. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. God bless you, and we will talk to you very soon.